Hello, hello again. Welcome to my channel. Today, in this video, I'm making a trip out to Mung Phuong, a little city about three, four hours up the road from Vientiane. And for this video, I'm actually going to a Hmong village. And I met this guy through YouTube. I'm super impressed with him sacrificing his time every weekend to teach the Hmong kids English. So I told him I'd come help. Let's check it out. I have no idea how this is going to go. I know one thing's for sure. I haven't rode the bike very long distances, so I know it's gonna be a bit of a journey, but I plan to make stops along the way and just enjoy the weather here in Laos in November, which is absolutely stunning and beautiful all around. I can't wait. She's a lover and a friend made it to Mung Phung, of course. Look at this jungle. There's a waterfall down there. I think we're gonna go walk over there now. We're up on the mountain. There's the iconic mountain over here. You can't see in on here, can you? Nampong Village. Nampong Village. And this is the iconic mountain for Mung Phung. You look it up online. You'll see this mountain, that's where the river is and everybody's going to visit for holiday these days. When they come to the river, they will see the mountain, right? Mm. Yeah. And then the river is close to the mountain. River is right over there close to the mountain. I went there right when I got first arrived in Laos mm -hmm. one time. We only stopped for like a few hours and then we yeah. had to go. Take a peek at that. Here with Mr. Chua. Been driving about 20 30 minutes outside of Mung Phung. Up, <laughs> up in the mountains. <laughs> but it's definitely worth the trip. Farm or trim? Farm up there? And about the one they just use to feed water. Oh. Water, how to hold the one. Hmm. I'm not sure. What do we call that? It's like a Fun thing. <laughs> film. Yeah. Net. Whoa. Yeah. I saw your your profile on Facebook, right? And yeah. And the place you uh, take a photo have a lot of. Another car. And is somebody live here or yeah. just uh, yeah oh they don't live here that's just the yeah. hut for farming right yeah wow this is a mountain the chinese is doing something up on the mountain chinese I to throw off the motorcycle helmet and just enjoy the beauty of this last bit of the ride it's about sundown here and I can't describe, really I can't describe this guys. As you can see, just the mountains and hills, 
rolling along the horizon. Leading us to his village here. What are they doing? I don't know what the contact I want to ask you what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> From the rice, right? So when do that and the rice comes out, <coughs> we take the rice and the glass they left there for cow and buffalo. Oh. Yeah. So I don't know what what it did. Well, how how far. So se separating the rice. Yeah. We, we, From the stock. Yeah. Okay. So we take the rice in the basket, right? Uh huh. How to how to basket? The bags? Oh, the bag, yeah. So the rice goes in the bags and then all of the... Like I show you this morning. Oh, you take it We home. just did this in the in this morning, 4 a.m. Uh -huh. So we do in the evening and morning, so we're not so tired. Okay, yeah. twice a day. It's yeah. <laughs> a lot of work. Yeah. How many people help you? Uh, we are, our family is we are six people and six we people. take us two people from Wow. This may take if the the big the big truck, uh -huh. right? It is like the one is smaller than the one. So we got the big one we had to take many people. Mm -hmm. But if the small one we take only six people is enough. Okay. Yeah. And how many hours do you do this? Uh, if the small one do and fifty bags. Fifty bags. So we do for almost three hours. Three hours. Yeah, almost three hours. Fifty bags. to do this in this morning at 4 a.m. and we finish it and we transfer it tomorrow so we just finish transferring uh -huh. uh, just now, just now. <laughs> yeah. so tired we had to carry all this up down up down, up down. <laughs> yeah. maybe if you want to tomorrow I can help you, you. tomorrow you can try it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it will be fast yeah. one one more person to help <laughs> yeah, <sure. laughs> Always a good sign when you show up to the school and out front, you've got people playing some sports. That's my kind of school. <laughs> but this is even cuter. We arrived and we are late and so the kids have been waiting all night to study. Probably won't get to study tonight unfortunately, but we'll make up for it for the next two days. This is my first time here, but it was super cute to watch them all run into the classroom. <laughs> Look at so cute. Let's take a look at the school that he's built here for out here. We got one room that's not finished. Little school. Now let's say hi to the kids since they all came running in here. Hello! Hi! <laughs> How are you? Hi! <laughs> They're very cute. This is the first class. This is the first class? Yes, yeah, so the first class and the kids. 
One, two, Seven, three, four. Eight years old. And the bigger, so about 30 students. Like in one class? Uh huh. 23 or 24. 23, 24 students in one class. They're so eager to learn. Uh, everybody just waiting to learn English. <laughs> <laughs> now the time's over, but they still need to stay here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> they're waiting for their yeah, parents. Just the class is at uh, 5.30. Now uh -huh. it's 50 already. Oh, okay. Uh, but they still need to stay here. Still waiting, to stay here. <laughs> waiting for you. Yeah.